Whoa! Guys, that was amazing. But what's more amazing, guys, is that we finally hit 250,000 subscribers. Now, I have a new challenge for you. Our brand new goal is 500,000 subscribers. So before this video gets started, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe, and don't forget to click that post notification bell for more videos and live streams. Now I gotta go guys, I'm late for my race, I'll see you in the video! What is going on guys, it is your boy T Stingray and welcome back to another video guys. Today we are here in my factory guys and the last time we actually had this, we had a classic car museum in here guys but today we're gonna be changing that from the classic car museum guys to the fast and the furious museum but before we get started with this video be sure to smash that thumbs up button subscribe if you guys haven't and don't forget to click that post notification bell for more guys because we're about to turn this to the coolest museum in cdt guys let's get this video started oh check out these two guys right in front of each other like they're building their dealership right now it's been a while since i built my dealership guys so it's kind of cool seeing others build theirs from the ground up and the fact that this one is like still new is so fascinating guys look at this that is really cool with my dealership just being very nearby but you guys can see that i have random cars in here right now just because i did put the most expensive cars in here but let's go ahead and start changing it to the fast and the furious of course i have to look through my whole entire collection guys of, and see which one of the cars were in the fast and the furious and we have to see which one were not but first thing we got to do is change this name man we got to do fast and furious museum furious that's a hard word to spell all right here we go fast and furious museum and then the color of it i kind of want to change it to something dark something like very secrete like that that is so cool right there guys it is the fast and the furious museum i think the color of the name i think i might change it to like yellow or red Ooh, that's nice look at that this is gonna be very cool let's go ahead inside and start on this what's up my boy he looks like he just came a little bit too early i like that helmet too all right the first one right here guys let's go ahead and look for one of course we're not gonna see all of them right off the bat we're gonna have to look through the whole entire collection guys and see which one was in the fast and the furious technically all these cars were in there because it's a it's a movie about cars but but let, we're gonna try and see which ones were the actual edition ones like honestly we could put the skyline in here and just call it a day <laughs> i'm gonna leave the skyline right there because we see that a lot on the previous fast and the Curio uh, furious movie and now let's go ahead and start looking for other ones so we got the toyota rt68 right over here guys we could put that there too we also got the bronco that we can put in there too they did use that in the movie Ooh, they have the mk4 right over here guys let's go ahead and change it to that nice and i think i'm gonna put like the regular cards down here but then i'm gonna put like the actual ones upstairs what about this the aval sean i don't even think this is part of the fast and furious it might be but it might not <laughs> all right let's change that i don't think that's part of the fast and the furious guys so let's go ahead and change it we got the the nissan we got the ooh the mazda miata right over here we could change it to that Ooh, look at that roll cage in there you know what we'll leave that that's pretty cool let's go to the next floor all right we got the sec striker right over here let's go ahead and put the next fast and the furious car we got the mazda right over here this is hans mazda right here guys so we're gonna leave that in here that looks so beautiful now we're getting to the real cars so let's go ahead and go to this barchetta and replace it Ooh, we get the this dodge snake right here but we don't want to put that it's just a regular one we also get the the gt500 right over here which john cena actually drove on the fast and furious 9 so we'll go ahead and put that there and then now let's go ahead and change this right here let's go ahead and change it to oh we got the s15 pro right here but i kind of want to start putting like dom toretto's charger in here that'll be really really cool oh look at this guys we got the dodge charger that we just got we're gonna put that right there right across hans mazda and then right beside it guys upstairs we're gonna go ahead and put the ice charger 
from Fast and the Furious right over here. Let's go ahead and put the ice charger right here. Nice. Look at that. That looks so cool. Now we got two more spots, one right here and then one outside. I might change it a little bit just because I feel like some of those cars doesn't deserve to be there. I feel like there's a lot more cars that are in the Fast and the Furious that we kind of missed out. But let's go ahead and keep looking through our collection right here. There's like so many cars, but I feel like only a few of them were in the Fast and the Furious. Like I'm going to keep looking through all of them. But I want to see if there's any special edition ones from there. We did get both chargers in there already. But I want to see if we got another special edition just for Fast and the Furious. As I'm looking at it, it kind of looks like we don't anymore. Like we've already kind of gone through every single one of them. Like even if we look at the GTR versions, like we could put the GTR in here. We got the RTR Pro that we could put in there. That's sick. Or we could put the regular RTR or the Nissan GTR right here. That is so cool. You know what? We'll leave that in there. That was in the Fast and the Furious. You just don't know which one. <laughs> Ooh, we got the S13 Pro right over here, guys. I think I'm going to put this right over here that is so nice the s13 pro right here guys i want to look through the whole entire car collection real quick because i feel like we're forgetting something i feel like there's a car in here that should be in this whole entire collection like even the subaru i feel like that's in a lot of fast and the furious we could put the brand new supra in there because they did put the brand new supra in the fast and the furious 9 guys when han came out with it but I don't know if I want to change any of these cars because this first floor right here looks perfect. We got the Nissan right over there. We also got the uh, Supra over there and then the Mazda. And then upstairs, it looks like we also got another lineup of Fast and the Furious cars. I feel like this is it right here. We got the uh, Mazda right over here, the RX-7. And then we also got the GT500. You know what? I'm going to change that color because he did drive a GT500 color, not a black one. He drove like a blue one, just like that. John Cena on Fast and Furious 9, which was Dom's brother. And then here it is. We got the Dom uh, Dom's Charger right over here. Super, super nice. And if you guys think I'm wrong, let me know in the comments down below. I'm basically just going off everything that I've seen in the movie so far. We got the Dodge Ice Charger right over here that we got last Christmas or last winter event. And then we also got this GTR right on top. If you want to be technical, there were some movies that they were driving the Lamborghinis. And there was one that... Uh, I think it was Hobbs and Shaw that he was driving a, uh, le le I think it was a McLaren 720S, but I don't think I want to put that because I feel like it's too basic, but there was one car, which was the Fenier Hypersport right over here, guys. Not a big fan of the camo on it, but this is one of the cars that we did get in the game. So let's go ahead and pop that out. This is the Lycan Hypersport right here. And you guys can see, I think this is the Fenier. I'm not sure if this is the Lycan, but they did use the Fenier or the Lycan Hypersport in Fast and Furious 7 or 8. And we could put that in there somewhere, but that's kind of like a car that they didn't really use too much in the movie. Like they probably used this for like a couple of you know, minutes and then they crashed it. But everything else looks great. I think this is a great front piece right here in the front. Or we could even put the uh, uh, Mazda RX-7 up here too. We should have done that, but I feel like that should have been enough. And as I'm looking through these other cars, guys, I feel like we've already completed this dealership. He also drove a hot rod in the beginning of Fast and Furious 8 or 7 too, which was pretty cool. I don't know what other cars can we put in there. We got the Subaru right here. Oh, we could put the Addy Quattro in there, but they didn't really use that. And then we got the Toyota Super Pro, the i8. Oh, we could put the Dodge Viper in there, the AGR, because they did use that in the movie. But I think we're just going to leave it out. I'm kind of surprised that they didn't have Dom Toretto's Charger in here that he used on the Fast and Furious 8 movie in the beginning. But we do have the OGs in here, guys. We got the Supra. We got everything in here. But yeah, this is the Fast and the Furious factory, guys. You can see how well it does. And look at this. This is such a 
beautiful museum right now, guys. It could literally be a JDM museum if I wanted it to be, but it's the Fast and the Furious. You guys can see the uh, Lycan or the Funier Hypersport, and you guys can see the GTR and the Dodge Ice Charger. You guys can see in the bottom, we got Hans uh, Mazda. We also got the uh, Dom's Charger right here, and of course, Dom's brother, GT500 and then downstairs we got the Supra we also got the Mazda right over here guys and then we also have the Nissan GTR or the Skyline so that is super super nice guys it is finally complete and your boy is still floating in the air but if you guys think I made an error leave it in the comments down below what do you guys think I did wrong with this museum did you guys enjoy it did you guys think that I was a little bit inaccurate with the cars but I think that's looks this looks pretty nice I actually like the color too kind of gives it me that fast and the furious vibes in here guys but thank you so much for watching hope you guys enjoyed be sure to smash that thumbs up button subscribe if you guys haven't and don't forget to click that post notification bell for more and I'll see you guys in the next video